YouTube, Facebook, um, right here. We're at a first job in the morning. It's a um, beautiful home. Um, she does rent out the Airbnb also. Um, but yeah, it really takes care of her home. And, you know, we're doing carpets today. You know, we have normal traffic areas here. Right? Um, no other main major things except for it looks like a rust area in one of the rooms. Um, yeah, so you got your traffic areas here. I'm going to do some pre-agitation on these traffic areas with the multi-wash. Uh, it's seven area job. Um, customer moved everything out. I'm going to go around the large stuff like the beds. Uh, it does look like it's vacuumed already, so I think I won't have to vacuum. So the rust box right there and right there, and I'll be treating them with some rust remover. Okay, so um, another room. So I'll stay tuned. All right, so I got all the hoses ran. Got my filter hooked up there. And I put down my my walkway. My rug for wiping off my feet when I'm coming off the carpet. Or into the house. Got all my car, corner guards up. Everything else. So now I'm gonna start um start uh pre-spraying and I'm scrubbing. So I think I'm gonna pre-spray this room. Uh, and go ahead and pre-spray up to this room and then uh, I'll scrub and clean and then I'll pre-spray the rest. Alright, stay tuned. So if you get one of these uh, power flights uh, make sure you take out the tray when you're doing pre-scrubbing. Um, that way it doesn't, you know, pick up your cleaning solution that that uh, you want to really sit there and dwell until you extract, right? So you don't want to pick up the cleaning solution. You just want to agitate it so that it can get all around the fibers and. Uh, actually work its best, right? You know, a good 10 minute dwell on most cleaners, um, cleaning solutions is a good time. So I'm just gonna go down the hallway here, in front of the entryways, you know, um, where you, where most of your traffic is rest of this house is not bad condition at all but you always want to give extra attention to to the uh, traffic areas uh, it's just, that's why a um, CRV type machine really works and if you don't have a CRV go ahead and get the or orbiter put the green brush on there I've used that for a long time before I got this I see I read all the traffic areas, all the problem areas that I think there might be a little issues. Um, right, all around the beds, walkways, around the sides of the beds, entryways. And I got my rust and a white cloth down remover for when I get to this room. I want to do it right before I extract so the, the, uh, the remover doesn't stay in the carpet too long. And uh, time to extract. Glad I'm over this 100 degree weather. Now it's a nice 70, probably five right now. Um, yeah, that 100. I'm over the 100, 110 degree weather. Losing too much water weight. Anyway, enough of my problems. Let's get to the customer's problems. Carpet clean. Okay, so we're up to that rust spot. Saturated a little bit. 
as well, but not too long. Blot it. Usually with all spots you want to blot, right? Rest is not going to bleed out too much. Like if you want like this and all of a sudden turn the whole thing brown. Rust isn't really known for that too much, but it's just a good, uh, it's something good to, you know, keep in practice of. You don't want to make the uh, stain bigger than it was before you got there. So I do this right before uh, I extract. You can also put this stuff in a spray bottle, which I probably should have did. But okay, and that one's gone. I'm gonna do the same thing to this one over here. Stay tuned. I pre-sprayed the second half of the house, and now I'm scrubbing. I am using some pre-agitation. Listen, if you're if you're a carpet cleaner and by pre-agitating your carpet before you extract, you're not making enough money, therefore it's taking too much time, um, you're just not charging enough. You need to include that in your prices. It's way too many times that I go to a customer and I, you know, I give them a quote or her a quote. And uh, so, well, that's kind of expensive. My last carpet cleaner, you know, did it for, you know, so and so, you know, or a lot cheaper, right? And then followed up by that is, you know, if I ask how come, you know, they haven't used them, well, they weren't happy with the results. Okay. <laughs> so, so yeah, they, they got it done a lot cheaper, but they weren't happy with the results because. They probably rush through the job. Because the carpet cleaners book too many jobs for the day. You know? Would you rather do six jobs a day or three jobs a day and make the same amount of money? There are customers out there that pay it. So if you think every customer out there is penny pension, uh, it's not true. You know, it's just not true. So if you're not making money, if you're spending time doing this, then you need to raise your prices. Your business is not going to stand on how many carpets you do a day. It's going to stand on the quality of work you do. Okay? It's going to last by the quality of work you do business is going to fail if you're just trying to get numbers. You're rushing through jobs. It's not going to last. You're going to get burned out. You're going to wonder why everybody else is making so much money. Well, this is why. Spend a little extra time, spend a little, charging a little extra money. And it's probably going to be a long video. So I'm going to stop talking. And I'm going to get this scrubbing. <laughs> Stay tuned. Okay, all finished up. All the way back. All those rooms. I don't want to walk on my pretty, um, freshly done carpets. So I'm just going to show you from the hardwood floor area. Um, so that's it for the day. Or that's it for this job. And uh, hope you uh, enjoyed. Kind of a long one. But uh, go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment. And uh, you know, sub you subscribe, it, it gets it gets uh, you to YouTube or Google to uh, um, recognize my my channel to more people. You know, more people are interested; they're gonna promote it a little bit more. So uh, go ahead and subscribe. Why not? You know, good deed for the day. I'm trying to get up to a thousand. That'd be nice for the end of the year. All right. Please like, subscribe, and comment again, 
and we'll see you in the next video.